this closing round of the Rainwood LPGA Classic for our last group is now six hours old. Just deciding which of the wedges she is going to use to do this. And she really does need nerves of steel because 20 foot behind the pin is water and it's a long carry across this green. Oh yeah, I forgot to add that to the equation as well, Kate. Well, she can afford, if you can in this circumstance, to be a little bit more conservative because she has the one-shot lead. what she wanted well that was exceptional under the circumstances beautifully done and uh, no wonder she's got the beaming smile on her face she had a lot of area to carry here she was very deep in the bunker water over the other side downhill everything to go against her and she just played that beautifully so now she has the opportunity for birdie so it is definite Carolyn Headwell has to do something spectacular here now. Well, you just bet everything on the fact that she'll make two putts from there. So the worst she is going to make is par, and she may make birdie. So as Sandy said, this is going to have to be spectacular. It's going to have to be in or stone dead, you would suspect. It's so hard to see, too. You can see how she's struggling with the sun directly in her face. It certainly adds to the difficulty. So she probably needs to pitch it as Miriam did and allow the contours to do the rest. So pitch it shy of the flag and let gravity take it down to the hole. Do or die. I think it's going to be enough, Pete. So she now is going to have to hold that if you give Miriam Lee two parts that means she finishes at 14 under and if Carolyn can hold that she will finish at 14 under and uh, Carolyn Headwall is a long long way away from the flag and it's downhill it's going to be a huge part we've seen it done before but uh, well I think the place would erupt if that went in I think you can take that as a given. <laughs> In the setting sun, on a very long day, Carolyn Hedwell looks as though she's probably going to come up empty-handed. But what a fight she's given us. Started with a bogey today, remember, and her confidence must have been shaken by that, but she's done so well to battle. But since she made a birdie at the ninth, she hasn't been able to put a red figure on her card, and that's one thing that Miriam Lee was able to do at 16. Been very impressed by Carolyn Headwell. We've always um, said, you know, how much talent she has. You know, she's a very exciting player, great match player. She's uh, been phenomenal in Solheim Cups, but today I think this has been really good for her because she's not been right in contention. She's yet to win on the tour, but she knows she can. She's had an interrupted year through injury, and mm. uh, I think this will be a massive confidence boost for her. But And she's been fun to watch. She, she really is exciting. It's, it's all or nothing. And those various camera angles that we've seen around 18, Sandy, give a really good indicator of the slope of the green here and how much slope that Carolyn has to cope with. There's the step that she needs to bring into account, and it'll all come from her left and then feed on down towards the water. I said a moment ago it's do or die. Now it's definitely do or die. This has to go in. You have to say at this point it is Miriam Lee who will more than likely hold the trophy aloft. She has two putts now for the win. But 
but uh, what a performance by Carolyn Headwell. And I wonder what's going through the mind of Stacey Lewis at the moment. Maybe some thoughts of what happened 12 months ago, but probably more particularly what's happened in the last hour or so. She has not made a birdie since the ninth hole. And there have been three bogeys on the back nine for the world number one. That is going to mean that it's going to be more than likely an even par round or a two over par round I should say of 75 and that will place her at minus 11 and in a tie for sixth who would have thought that about an hour ago yes that's extraordinary turnaround of events and uh, well that's why we love golf who the, knows the glorious uncertainty of sport at the top level forget any reality television program that has ever <laughs> been made this is the best reality television because there's no scripts here you never know what's going to happen around the corner and we've seen some amazing things in the last 30 minutes or so <laughs> Stacey Lewis second last year finishes equal sixth in 2014 and the look on her face paints the picture she will be extremely annoyed to say the least she will have looked back and thought oh, if only well have a look at this carolyn has basically conceded the win now and left the stage clear but miriam lee even though the korean is further away from the hole she said you deserve your moment this putt for outright second Wonderful week. Well done, Caroline Headwell. She got into a little bit of trouble. She's held it together really well, and uh, I think that's a pretty outstanding performance by her. It, uh, as we said, it was an interrupted year, so uh, good result. But this is the moment. Miriam Lee, two putts nice. to hold the trophy aloft. We kind of hope that she just takes one because she deserves it. A couple of close friends in the background there with uh, some all sorts of things yeah, the that she's going to get wet ready. with. <laughs> this to give her a two-shot margin of victory. of the women's game and her name is Miriam Lee her rookie year at just 23 years of age she tastes victory on the LPGA Tour the hardest tour there is for the second time so Miriam Lee starts the day trailing by two and ends up with her second victory as a rookie on the LPGA Tour. Another star from South Korea as the LPGA begins its 2014 Asian Swing. Hope you enjoyed it. Our time is up.